Tesla are finally finally doing what customers have been asking for. I personally don't understand why Tesla have taken this long to give customers what they've very clearly been saying everywhere. I mean, I'm reading this everywhere. This is what we want. This is what we want. This is what we want. And Tesla's like, yeah, yeah, no, no, we don't care. Really strange, really, really strange to me. But now Tesla are like, yeah, okay, we'll give you what you want. The Tesla Model 3 Plus is going to be available across right-hand drive car markets. What does that mean? Well, in Europe right now and in the United States, you can buy the Tesla Model 3 Plus, which is actually the Tesla Model 3 rear-wheel drive long-range NMC batteries, right? You can buy that in Europe and, well, obviously it's in left-hand drive for Europe and you can buy it in the United States and I believe Canada as well, but you can't get it for any countries that are right-hand drive, Australia, Thailand, New Zealand, the UK, uh, Japan, Malaysia, et cetera, et cetera. Tesla now have a Model 3 Plus. It's gonna be on sale in September this year. And if I was gonna be buying a Tesla Model 3, I can say, to be honest, the Model 3 is a great car, so it's definitely worth looking at. But if I was gonna be buying one, this is the model I personally would be getting. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. Great to have you with us. If you'd like to become a YouTube member, I'll put a link in the description below. You get access to some videos and interviews that you don't see on the main channel. The Model 3, well, the, the rear-wheel drive long range, it's available in the United States. In the US, it has 363 miles of range. It's a lot of range, and that's real-world range. I've seen a lot of tests. It's really getting 363 miles, which is I think really good and especially considering the prices it's fairly affordable with the current seven thousand five hundred dollar discount right it's actually thirty five thousand us dollars 35 i'm just looking at the tesla website thinking this is an incredibly good value car thirty five thousand us dollars with the current federal tax credit if i lived in the united states and i didn't need like done it didn't have a family didn't you know need have the need for a lot of passenger space this is an amazingly good vehicle for that price. We know the price, what it's going to be in China. And actually, it's more expensive than that in China. Anyhow, 363 miles of range. In the UK, it's a lot more expensive than that. It's 44,500 pounds. A lot more expensive in the UK. It comes with 400 miles of range, 398 miles. In the Netherlands, it is, uh, well, it has 702 kilometers of range. That's WLTP and it costs 45,990 euros. So 46,000 euros. As you can see, Tesla cars are a fair bit more expensive in Europe than they are in the United States or in Australia. So speaking of Australia, uh, when are we gonna get this car? Um, it's meant to be coming out in September of this year. It's called the Model 3 Plus, and the details we have so far, it will have that same battery as far as we know, the, it'll, well, not the same battery as the United States. It's a the current battery they already has, right? Which is made by LG Chem or LG Energy Solutions. It's going to give 700 kilometers of WLTP range, or exactly 702 kilometers of WLTP range. It that means it'll be the longest range Tesla we've ever seen in Australia, or New Zealand, or Thailand, or Malaysia, or other countries that get this version of the Model Three plus China. So China will get this car first, and then when it's been on sale in China for probably a few weeks, maybe a month, it'll come to other right-hand drive countries. It's single motor, rear-wheel drive, and uses the NMC battery from LG Chem, as I said earlier. So that means it's more efficient than the, than the all-wheel drive version of the same car. In China, the entry-level rear-wheel drive, so the option that comes with a lithium-ion phosphate battery, the cheapest version of the Model 3, Rear-wheel drive, it gets 634 kilometers of range CLTC. So using CLTC, it'll probably have around 800 kilometers of range, WLTP around 700 kilometers of range, which is quite a bit. The base model uses a 62.5 kilowatt hour battery in China, and it costs $32,800. The long range all-wheel drive version in China has 753 kilometers of CLTC range, and it uses a 78.4 kilowatt hour battery from LG. It costs $39,800. That means that this car, this rear wheel drive car, we believe will have a 78.4 kilowatt hour battery. But there is some uh, rumors in China saying Tesla are gonna make the battery even bigger. They're gonna put in an 85 kilowatt hour battery, meaning 
it could potentially have up to potentially 780 kilometers of WLTP range. If that is true, if that rumor is correct, 780 kilometers of range, it'd be the longest range Tesla in history. Don't know if that's true, but it's possible considering what Tesla just did with the Model Y in China, they made the battery bigger. So the Model Y in China now enables the Model Y all-wheel drive to get 600 kilometers of WLTP range. That's the longest range all-wheel drive the Model Y and Tesla have ever made. If Tesla do make that Model 3 battery bigger, then yeah, it's going to get more range, obviously, than the Model Y all-wheel drive, so quite a lot more. The new version of the Model 3 has been, well, officially, this isn't just a video about rumors, it actually has been officially announced in China, and it's a rear-wheel drive, single motor, of course, it uses less energy than the all-wheel drive version. To give you an idea, about 9%, use about 9% less energy than the all-wheel drive version. The all-wheel drive uses 12.1 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. The rear-wheel drive uses 11.2 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So nearly, nearly one kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers less, about 9%. That's pretty good, right? Of course, dropping that front motor, which to be honest is completely unnecessary in most parts of the world is a good de a good decision and a lot of people have been saying to the tesla why the hell are you offering this i just want a lot of range i don't want to have an all-wheel drive car i don't need it i don't need to i don't need that kind of power price the price is thirty-seven thousand six hundred us dollars in china so what does that mean for the price outside of china well i think we can work that out because the all-wheel drive version of the car in China is $39,800. So that means, right, that the rear-wheel drive version is $2,200 cheaper. That's US dollars. So probably about $3,500 cheaper to get the rear-wheel drive version with more range. Therefore, I would expect that probably in Australia, the price will be will go down by about three and a half thousand Australian dollars, meaning you might be able to get one of these for around sixty six thousand Australian dollars. That's um, that's really good for the longest range Tesla ever, seven hundred kilometers of range, and it will be the most affordable car in Australia with that much range. It will be. There's no doubt. Now. Do we know what other features the Model 3 Plus is going to have? Will there be other changes in it? I don't think there will be because it's cheaper than the all-wheel drive version. It's $2,200 US dollars cheaper. I suspect all they've done is just remove the front motor and that's it. They're going to say, okay, Model 3 Plus is going to give you 702 kilometers of WLTP range. If you want to drive from Melbourne to Sydney or Sydney to Brisbane, whatever, you'd be able to do that on just charging once, right? You charge at home. So the battery is fully charged before you leave. Then middle of the journey, say 400 kilometers in, you charge again, and then you arrive at your destination. I don't think we've really ever been able to do that before, especially not with a Tesla. So this will be the first time that people who do that long trip can just stop once if they want to. Me personally, I prefer to stop twice. I get hungry and I want to pee and go to the toilet, but it is an option. So that's a pretty cool thing to have. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.